Hey guys, it's me, Cassie. I'll come back with another video. And earlier this morning, I had, um, I think this was kind of like yesterday or so, but I, I always get these messages and not, I hardly ever share them, but I just wanted to start sharing some stuff with you guys today. And so, um, one thing that had come to me, God told me that, um, or the Holy Spirit rather, told me that I need to get on a spiritual uh, obedience. And I said, what? Spiritual obedience? And yes, he was, they were seeing me, telling me, saying me, Lord, okay, <laughs> saying to me, however, um, that I need to get on a spiritual uh, obedience. And so I said, I asked, I'm like, what do I need to do to get on this obedience, to be obedient to the Spirit, to be obedient to God? And um, it almost took me into the point, it says, uh, your season. And um, this is a this is going to be another message too, but it says, who do you become when God gives you a season by yourself? Who do you become? And I'm like... That's a good question. Who do I become in a season by myself? And so, um, so back to the spiritual obedience. And it was saying one thing I need to stop doing is clubbing. Going to the club, drinking, um, overspending, shopping, and different things like that. That, that takes me um, out of my element. That makes me work harder and just kind of keep me at a plateau instead of allowing myself to rise up because if you're clubbing you know when you go there it's expensive to club so i was like okay so what do i need to be pursuing so then we come back to who do you become when god give you a season by yourself and my light went off and so I, I'm i going back and forth between those two questions. What do I do? And so um, I think it's going off because my computer is unplugged. So basically um, the thing that will be good for you to do, excuse me, what would be good for you to do is in that season, is to um, maybe limit some limiting your social life as well, not completely cutting it off because we don't want you to get depressed or feel like you're not being involved enough. However, some things that you should be doing in the season when God puts you by yourself is building, planning, purging, and pursuing your dreams, pursuing things that make you a better person, whether you're a man or a woman, what is it that's making you a better mother, a better friend, a better you to yourself? Because at the end of the day, we have to understand how to treat ourselves. And that's what a lot of us fail to do. We want to please ourselves, but we pleasing ourselves in the wrong way. We want to please our, our flesh and not our spiritual self, not allowing our minds to ascend, not, you know, by, and when I speak on that, it's like some things that used to taste good to you should not taste good to you anymore. Those things should be nasty. And I had to let a lot of things fall away from me and it hurt and I I won't lie to you it hurts but but the after effect of it is the benefit and like I try to tell some people gratitude is a gift no ascension is a gift from gratitude when you're grateful for the things that you lose just to gain something else is it puts you in a better place mentally, physically, and spiritually. Don't always feed your flesh. So 
till again is nothing but a lamb. And I just want to talk about that spiritual obedience because at the end of the day, we should ride on our divinity and stop being so 3D right now. Like so many people are so 3D and we need to go into the 5D and even further because that's our ultimate goal is to ascend. So um, I really enjoy giving you guys these messages. So if you would like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And I'll be back with another one. Till then, take care and bless up. Bye.